Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to another gaming guide video and today we are doing another gaming guide on Starfield. How to turn any POI into an actual functional outpost and turning it into your own personal kind of base. Now, I seen this video not too long ago of this one right here, uh, which he does go over it very lightly. In this video, I'm going to kind of go over in depth and also other things which you can and cannot do. So basically, if you had like any questions or like, you know, what you, you know, what is allowed or what is not allowed, uh, is it going to break, you know, what kind of mods that I'm, that I'm using in the creation, I'm going to give all that information. Now, again, um, this is mainly going to be for PC. I think the second part of this can be done on a console, but unfortunately you can't do the whole like outpost thing. Um, you could like put the outpost near the location to fast travel to, but you got to walk the rest of the way from there to your actual, um, home or your player home or your base. Um, it's unfortunate, but you're going to have to do it that way on the console uh, but on pc it should be able to work for the first part of this and also is going to work for the second part of this so you should be okay so without further to do let's get started with the video i'm gonna go a more in depth than what this person did from like nine months ago i'm gonna go a bit more in depth and kind of give you a step-by-step -step stuff and you know letting you guys know what to do and what not to do uh, first thing first, we're going to do first before we open up Starfield is to actually go down here and we're going to go to new. We want to do text document, open up a new text document, right? I already did one right up here. And we're going to basically, we're going to copy this stuff right here, which all this stuff is going to be in the description below which hold on for a minute, I'm going to blow this up. So then this way you can actually read it and see it for yourself. So yeah, so yes, this is all going to be in the description and you can copy and paste it into here and make sure you just file and save it. So right here is basically, you know, with the whole, you know, Starfield outpost anywhere. I just put the console command keyboard, which to, you know, to activate it or whatever you got to use the console command and this is the symbol right here on your keyboard which is this little dash and a swiggle right here and i listed between one through two and this one right here is optional and i'll explain this one um later what does these do and stuff so once you got that done you know you copy in here you make sure you save it and all that stuff so once that's done Make sure, you know, you could just, you know, if you want to copy it or even cut it, uh, make sure you just save it into your game folder. Make sure you don't save it on your C drive because if something happens with your boot drive and you got to restart the computer or everything got wiped away, this will get wiped away. So I recommend just, you know, make sure you save it inside of your, one of your game folders or the games that you have installed which is mines is going to be right here which is the w black m.2 2 terabyte and i'm just going to paste it right in here right you can make a folder in here if you want to save it like that or you could just leave it in here so then that way when you want to look up the commands and stuff like that if you need to because we're going to actually use this to copy and paste it onto there instead of having to retype every single you know line and all that stuff so basically you can just keep this open but i'm just saying if you want to make sure you want to save it somewhere um to keep it as a reference to save it into your what are your games that you install don't save it inside of the game folder just save it outside of it so it'll be right here or make a folder for it um okay so once we got this right which we're going to use it to copy and paste it so we're going to have this open and I'm going to leave it just like this, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to put this to the side for a minute. <clears throat> and then now we're going to open up Starfield. And we're going to run Starfield. 
now I'm going to when when this is starting up, I'm going to show you my actual um, mod mod creation list that I have is already in order. Everything is is what I'm running right now currently. So if you see any previous mod, um, you know, guide videos that I did before, if you want to copy this one, you can. Um, there's some things that I did got rid of. Um, it did some file corruptions on my stuff, on my save, and it also, some of it just did not work or is not functioning well or is still in that beta phase of the creator. So I kind of got rid of it. I just kind of slimmed it down. I still have it pretty good. Um, I just slim it down. I add a few little extra things here and there, and it works a lot better. It runs a lot better now. Um, and I still didn't get no file corruptions or errors or stuff like that. So, so far it seems to be running stable on my end with the mod order and the list that I have. So if you want to copy that, I'm going to just run it through and you can copy all that stuff and, you know, save it and then you can start your game up and play it. The thing that I think I got rid of was the fact that um I got rid of uh one of the denser area mods um I was playing that a little bit later um I got rid of that uh, because if you're doing an outpost especially like when you're you know taking over an outpost uh one of the mods that you know makes the area or the environment more denser with a lot of trees more grass more this more rocks the problem with that I have to get rid of or disable is because that if you set your outpost nearby, whatever that you have, and let's say you land it there, there might be a whole bunch of trees and other stuff is going to spawn on top of it. So it's like kind of like clipping through the ground and clipping through the ship and stuff like that. So you don't want none of that stuff. I suggest turn off that mod or get rid of it entirely because it does ruling the experience of taking over an outpost because you don't want rocks or something getting your way when you're trying to walk onto a ramp if that makes sense you know what i'm saying all right so once we're on here i'm gonna go to creations first so i can show you my mods and the load order that i have and you could copy it for yourself i'm just going to go down the list and if you need to stop the video, you can stop and look at it for yourself and make sure that you have everything on that list. And, and it also is in order as well. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just going to run this through.
all right so there it is so basically that's the mod that i have and the order that i have just make sure you um you know make sure you save it and then you should be all set um let me check real quick all right there's two mods that i didn't install this is going to be crucial to this um Let me see if I can find it. Well, there's actually three if you want to do it. Um, there's this one right here, which is Outpost Material Starter Bundle. You can find this when you go to the lodge in the basement. And you find a whole like starter kit, whatever, with all the materials and stuff like that. So if you want to download this into your mods, into the mod thing, you can. Which is perfectly fine. Just you could put it one thing up after the bottom of the list. Just put it one thing before the um, remove uh, color filter. So you could do that. And um, the other mod that I have installed as well that is going to help us, which is because I think. Not this. Is it should be around here somewhere? Hold on. I don't know I should have it. There it is, right here. There's one one of those mods is this one, which is build and decorate anywhere. And then there's another one which is called build a home anywhere. I think I passed it, but it should be one. Of, it should be both of those mods because both of those mods do completely different things. Okay, here it is. So this one right here. So it's called Starfield Player Home Anywhere. This is one of the mods for part two. You can use this for part two as well for this mod. And the one that I had before is this one. You can also use that for part two for console players. This is for console players for you for. PC players, this is also evolves with you as well as part one and part two. So just letting you know. So is this is those three are crucial that we need. So once you have this in there as well as these two right here, you should be all set. Right. And if you don't want to um, use this, you can also just buy the materials as well. If you have enough credits, if you want to play it in a more um, not in a cheating way, but if you want to play it more fairly and earn your way through, um, uh, like again, you can just go and buy the, uh, buy the, the materials at any vendor in any kind of city. So it doesn't matter if it's, um, Neon, New Atlantis, you know, you can buy it and stuff. So once you got those three in the mods and it's already installed and functional, now we can go in here and we're going to load we're going to select we're going to do this one test mods and we're going to go on here because we're going to take over in an outpost that's what we're going to do already have cleared everything out but i'm going to just show you this little kind of demo out here in the middle of nowhere so here we are, right? So let's open up our map real quick so we can show you where we're at. So we're at this planet right here. You know, we can choose any of these like outposts nearby like this, right? And you can turn anything into a home. We, you know, we can use this, right? We can do this one if we want so it's really up to you it doesn't matter you could even 
build you know you know make an outpost here at next to an actual settlement so you could do that as well so if you want to choose to do that you could do that as well um so again i just choose the one out here it seems like very small you know very small secluded not that much room inside but it feels like a nice base to be here and stuff like that so let's do it the regular way so usually right when we open up this right you know you go on here right we we can't put anything here so we're going to change that right so we can't do anything so now i'm gonna put this this is the console command right now this is that key symbol that i was talking about i'm gonna just turn on um turn god mode for this just in case if something happens like a uh, Whatever runs up on me, I'm not going to get killed and I got to restart the whole thing. All right. So this is going to be our little outpost right here, right? We're going to go inside for a minute, right? And we're going to turn this into an actual home. Okay, right? We're going to get rid of this, right? And it's nice. I like this. It's really nice. It's very cozy. Down there is like a little escape, escape roof and stuff, which is pretty cool. So we're going to turn this into a little home, a little place. Probably can like take this out, move all this stuff out and probably put a bed and stuff. So yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool. So first thing first we need to do. Right? First, we need to put our fake outpost up which we're going to use the console ma console command so for this i recommend before you start bringing this up put it in a place that's going to make sense of putting it at you know you could put it in here if you want you know whatever because once you bring the fake outpost up here it's not going to move and it's not going to be functional okay it's just a fake little outpost, but make sure you put it near or somewhere around the location. So what I mean by that, let me just pull up my map real quick. Um, just for example, let's just say like if we was to build an outpost, you know, over here, right? But I still want to use it for a landing pad or something like that. Like I want to use it for a landing pad or something like that, right? Then I want it to be like kind of like close to right here. I want to build my fake thing right here. So then that way this will cover this area. So then that way I could just walk from here to here. You know, if this doesn't have the landing pad. So let's say we go over here, right? If it doesn't have a landing pad, I will want the outpost to be somewhere in the middle or close to the door. So then that way, if let's say the landing pad doesn't work like the spawn point or whatever it may not work it could be finicky but i still want to fast travel next to the door so i can enter in there i will put i will put it somewhere like in the middle so it can just cover this area you don't want to put it out here because it will just go out here you know what i'm saying it'll just go around in a circle out here i want it to be in the middle of this so it can go around the circle in here if that makes sense you know the closer is in the center of that fake outpost, the better the area is going to cover. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So since we're out here, right, and it's pretty small, this will be is going to be OK that it's going to cover basically a large enough area. But if you're in a big location, you know, be very careful where you want to put it, because like again, if you want to use the landing pad, like that outpost you can fast travel to it and use the landing pad and that was your outpost i would say bring it closer to the building or bring it closer to the landing pad so then that way it's there and then whatever you want to build or whatever and then you can walk up and then you could do other stuff and decorate other things as well so i'm just letting you know so we're going to put it in i you know what i'm going to put it in this no, actually, I'm going to put that in the corner. I'm going to put the fake one in here. So I'm going to put it in here because I'm not really doing anything in here. So what I'm going to do, usually you just use your gun pointer. Just point right where you need to be at. 
Um, and also just a warning, make sure it's in an open area. Do not put the fake outposts underneath, like in a crowded area or in a in a dense area, like inside where that escape that escape route. Don't put the fake thing inside of there because it's not going to work. Because it's either blocking something or is it is too high or whatever, right? Just like how when we build this, right? When we take out when we take out this, right? You see how this is going to be. That's how it's going to be with the fake outposts. Like if it's like blocking something like this or is it somewhere like this? Do not block it. Make sure it has enough room to put it in a location. So I'm going to put it right about here. This is where I'm going to put it. Fake one. So now we're going to use the console command, right? I'm going to pull that up. And now we are going to basically take our thing right here. That we just have so we're gonna we're gonna copy this and we're going to paste it into our console command so we're going to copy it boom so once you copy it just keep this open just put it to the side and then we're in the game now and now we're going to paste it so how to paste it is basically it's going to be control v so i'm going to hold down control and v on my keyboard so control v boom it's already pasted on there. So once that's pasted, then we're going to just click enter. Boom. And then once that's done, all you have to do is just close out the console command. So just click the same key again. And then boom. There we go. Now we got our outpost. Now you see it's not in the way of something or hitting anything. Good. So it's going to work. If, it, if this was hitting over here, let's just say for example, or... You want to delete it and move it somewhere else or remove it again. All you have to do is you're going to go right back to the same console command. So we're going to go to the console command again. Pull that up. Right. And now you see this mouse cursor. We're going to click on it. Right. We're going to click on it. And it's going to have this right here, which is A, C, T, I. And then it's going to say whatever. Right. So if we wanted to delete it, right? Like, let's say we want to delete it. And be very careful of this, too. Because if you delete the wrong thing, you're going to delete something else or you're going to delete the ground. Make sure you click in this right in front of this. So have your have your thing pointing towards it and click on it. And it has to say something like this. At least the A-C-T-I. That's this thing. So if you want to remove it, right? Then we're just going to bring our thing out here. And this is where that optional thing comes into play, where we want to disable it. So we're just going to copy this, right? And then we're going to go back in here. And then we are going to control V, paste it. And then we're going to click enter. And then we're going to close it out. And then boom, it disappeared. Now, let's say you want to re-able it again. Don't click on anything. Just open up the console command once again. And then if you see that ACT, if you see it right there, don't do anything. Don't click anything. All you have to do is copy and paste enable or like, again, you could type in enable. So for this, I'm going to just going to copy this right here, right? I'm going to copy enable, copy, then I'm going to put this to the side. And then we're back into the game. And then I'm going to just hit control V. And then I'm going to enter. And it's going to re-able again. So then I just close the command. Boom. Got it back again. Okay. So. That's step number one. Right? We did this. We did this already. I'm just showing you that. Alright. So now we can open up console command. Right? So we already did step number one. We put it, we already put the fake outpost. Step number two, when you have it and you click on it, make sure you click on it, it's highlighted. Step number two is that we want to copy and paste this. So this is number two, uh, set outpost overlay, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this, right? And we're going to paste it into our console command. So we're going to hit control V, right? And then once we got that, we hit enter 
and then that's it. And then now we're going to close this out. Okay, so once that's done, once we have that done, we already highlighted and did that. Now we have to run out outside of this area. Okay, so when we click on our scanner, right, you see the outside of this? You see that yellow? That's where we have to run. We have to run outside of that, and then we have to come back in. So we can see how how much the area is being covered. That's why I'm saying, like, if the more you put it out towards, like, out in the middle, the more area it can be covered. So we got all of this stuff that we already got covered. So now we're going to have to run out. So we're going to run out all the way out over there. Right? So I'm just using my scanner just so I can run out here. And then we're going to open up our real outpost. And then we're going to bring it back in. So once we out here, right? Once we out here. And then we see this, right? And now we can open up our outpost, which is our Y button right here. So open up our outpost. And now we can go back inside. And you can see that we can place this anywhere now inside of here. We can build stuff. So, but I suggest running back up all the way up there to put it nearby over there so you can fast travel. All right. Um, if you if you do run out here, right? Let's just say, for example, if you do run out here and you run back in, and if, if it's red, that's how you know you did something wrong, or that the fake outpost up there is either being hit by a wall or something that is basically is not letting it to work okay so you might have to delete it and redo that part again so i'm just letting you know if you if you see it red coming in here that means that the fake outpost is wrong just delete it and then just replace it again so basically we're just going back to the same steps right back here and then do the second step and then do do what you do what i'm showing you right now which is running back out there and then you should be okay so you're going to see this now it works so now we have this we can rotate it and stuff like that so now we're going to run back all the way up to this hill right we can place it but we can move it still see we can still move it so even if we place it we can still move it so i'm going to move this and also, if you want, you could toggle the view as well. So, you can just do like this. And we're going to paste it somewhere around here. We could paste it on top. We could, if we want, I think we can't. Nope. Nope, we can't paste it there. Can't paste it here. So, we could paste it somewhere around here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it right here. Because then that way just in case if the landing spot if i put a like whatever a landing thing over here and if it doesn't work then i can still fast travel over here regardless so it'll still be okay so i'm gonna paste it right here so then that way when i fast travel i'm gonna be right next to the door or close to the door as possible so i'm gonna put it right here All right i'm gonna go back to our view and now we can exit our build mode and it should be able to work. See, now we can rename the outpost if we want. We can build stuff in the outpost that we want. So if we want to go to build mode, we can put this. We can put this out here if we want, if we got water. So if we do have water, we can literally just put it near water if we have water down there, which I think we saw earlier, we did have water. So we can put it down here if we want. That's fine. Um, you know, right? Solar. You could put storage, right? You could even build uh, more of the outposts up here if it's pretty good. So we can say, oh, I, I want to, like, expand it. You can you can do that. You can expand it a little bit. Make another, make another little home right here if you want. You know, up here in this mountain. You can do that. So there's some things you can do. So basically, we could build a home on top of a home or more stuff in the area. We can do that. Build more sections. 
uh, workbenches we can put down. We can put this inside or outside. Um, like again, turrets like we normally do. We can put beds if we need to, right? Storage, weapon racks, and like again, and also we could put crew stations. So basically, if you want crew members to be inside of this building, you could do that, and they'll go inside of this building. So you could do that. So let's say you wanted to build a small thing right here. It's going to be pretty hard because, like, again, it's kind of finicky and also it's too big. So you're going to have to put it in a more flatter land. So you might have to put it down here or something like that. Let's say right here. Let's try that. We're going to put it. We're going to put this over here. I'm just going to do it. And then again, we can always move it if we need to. I'm going to just move it up a little bit. Kind of wish I could put it on top. But I think that's also the next option too. We could put this on top. So what we're going to do is like this. We're going to exit out. And there it is. But let's say for a third option, if we want to overlay it or overlap something a little bit. This is where that third option comes into play. So if you open up your console command, and then let's say you want to put this as well. So we're going to copy this. So here's what I'm showing you. We're going to copy this. I'm going to copy, and then we're going to paste it in here. And then this will allow you to kind of do a little bit overlay. So like if there was a pad or something like that or is already there's a pad already for a landing pad you can put that little small pad on top of it and it won't have an issue with it so it's kind of can do a little bit overlay to it so i'm gonna click that i'm gonna click enter and then there it is we can put that down so now if we come back to it right Let me just move myself over here. Alright. So now we can go on here. Now we can go right here. See, we can have a little bit of overlap. That's fine. If we want, we can do that. But this would be more better if it was a landing pad. Like if there was a landing pad, you could put this right over the landing pad. But since it ain't going to do nothing, I'm going to just leave it there. But that's an option right there that you can do if you want to do something like that. To show it a little bit better, it would be like this. Like if we took that same landing pad right here. And let's say we want to overlap it on this little landing pad right here. You can do that. You can overlap that. That's what that um that um console command right there will do. It will basically take it and overlap this and it will make it work. So then when you do land on here, it's going to put the ship right on top of here and you can walk across right over here. That's what it does. All right. So we got that set up, we got our base set up, so we basically now we have taken a, a base that is pretty empty and now we want to go into our second part, which is we want to decorate in the inside. So for the second part, this is for people that are on the console that doesn't have the console command and like again, if if you want to let's say let me just do like this real quick um let me just toggle view let's just say for example if you want to take over like a base or something you could put this thing a whatever far away or somewhere close nearby and just build like a little home right here and you could still walk up here 
and still come inside of this building and still decorate stuff. You can still put stuff here if you want. You can do stuff. So there's things you can do. So even if you can't put the outpost directly on here to take over, you can still decorate stuff on the inside. I'll show you that. And that's when the mods come into play. So now we can go inside and say, okay, we got our little stuff, little base, got everything that we need, right? And now we're in the inside of here, right? And now we want to kind of decorate it, put beds, put stuff, whatever we want to do, right? If we want to get rid of this, right? You like, now there's two ways of doing it. We can do it, dragging it, throwing it down here, or we can do it um, the more easier way to do it. So there's, there's multiple ways of doing this. Okay, so now let's start off with this to put in preference. Make sure you save this, okay? So before you start decorating anything inside or change anything, delete stuff or whatever, make sure you save this, okay? You go on here, you save it and do a hard save, okay? And make sure you save in it and say, okay, when I save this, this is how I'm going to start decorating. So just in case if you mess up, you can reload it back again that, you know, whatever. Uh, for example, right, we can still use the console commands. Unfortunately, consoles can't do this. So on consoles, you're going to have to probably drag this and throw it down there and get rid of stuff and whatever you can build on top of whatever you can. On PC, we can still, what we can do is we can really get rid of a lot of this stuff easily. So let's take, for example, we can get rid of this body, right? We can, on on consoles, they're going to have to drag it, throw it down here, close the hatch. But for us, on PC, all we have to do is what I like to do is just basically, I'm going to hold, drag the body, I'm going to put it up in front of me. So once you have that up, then you just hit the, um, the console command. Now I'm going to highlight this person. Boom. Once you highlight this person, it's going to say right here, NPC, which is, this is an NPC. So then what I'm going to do is, it's quite simple. All I have to do is delete it. So we're going to have the delete key, or you can spell it out, delete. Or disable. Well, not delete, but disable. So we have to do disable. I'm sorry, not delete. But we are going to delete this NPC. This this NPC is not going to exist. And we can always bring her back if we want to enable it again. But we want to delete this person permanently. So we're going to disable this person. So all we have to do is just type in disable. Or you can copy and paste it if you want. So we're going to put disable. We already spelt it. Boom. And then we close on the command. Done. Gone. Okay. So now we deleted that. Right? We can also delete other items too. But this is the part, where, like I said, be careful when you delete stuff. Because you can accidentally delete the whole floor. So make sure you save it. You know, or overwritten your old save to make sure, like, whatever progress you're going to do or whatever. So let's say, I don't want this workbench here. I don't want any of these tools. I don't want none of this. So all I have to do, highlight it. I'm going to click on the table, right? And I already saved it before I'm going to start trying this. So now I'm going to click on disable. Or I'm going to type it out. Disable. Boom. Now you see what I mean? You can accidentally delete like a floor tile or delete like a thing when this happens this is where i said where you can always reload it again so when you reload it it's gonna go right back to normal boom the body is gone this is normal again so just in case you can always try it again and see if you can delete it so Let's just say, for example, maybe I wanted to delete 
let's say this trash bag. I'm gonna hopefully I can click on it and delete the trash bag. So I'm gonna try it. Disable. Nope. So I can't delete the trash bag. So if that happens, I can always click on enable. Or I can reload it. There we go. So, there's certain items you can delete. I know that for sure. Because you can delete that. Let me see if I can delete. Let me see if I can delete this right here. I'm pretty sure I can. You just gotta click on the item. That's the thing. And then... Yep. See, that deleted part of the table. I didn't want it to, but it deleted part of the table. So it's kind of finicky, but you can delete and... And, um, whatchamacallit. Re-enable it. I want to delete this. So, let me see. I'm going to hold this up. And then see if I can delete it. There we go. See, now now I should be able to delete it now. So, I'm holding it. I'll put disable. There we go. Deleted that. Um, let's see. I don't know if I can delete this. There we go. See, now I can delete that. Get right up close to it. And now I'm going to put it disable. There we go. See, now I can just go around and start, like, getting rid of stuff. If I don't want this bin right here, I want to get rid of the bin. If it's SAT, I don't want that. I want to make sure I'm clicking the thing. So there it is. It's kind of finicky. You might have to go right up on it. You might have to stand on top of it or whatever. Or hold it. So it should be able to work. I'm just typing it out. Makes it easier for me. Nope. Alright, so basically I have deleted the floor. Now again, I can always reload it or I can enable it. So make sure you have this thing right there. If you lose that, if you click on something and you lose it, it ain't going to come back. So you ain't going to re-able it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do something else. So you have to reload it again. So if you have this thing that you so-called, oh, I you know, messed up, then just make sure you leave it there. Don't click on anything and just click on enable. If it's gone, then you have to reload it again. There. Oh, got it back up. So yeah, it's a little finicky, but you could delete some items and stuff. So you just gotta, it's just trial and error to do it. So let's say, okay, we got, we, we got rid of some stuff, whatever. Let's say now we want to put stuff here. Like we want to put a chair or whatever, right? Now, there's two ways of doing this, right? Now, I think it's in my inventory. One of the mods will have the um, the clothing for it, where you can wear the clothing and then you can put panels and stuff like that. And the other one comes in a pill format. So right here, this, this is the uh, player home anywhere. It will come in your inventory in here, so it will be in here automatically. So all I have to do is just hold it. And then I can, like, do stuff with it. Wait. Oh. Guess this doesn't do it. Hold on. Let me see if I can put it right here in front of the wall. See if that's going to work. Uh, let's try that again. And don't worry, it's still going to be here. Mm, it says it's unable. 
Let me see. Let me put it. Let me put this as a favorite. Unable to deploy here, not an interior cell. Alright, so some places you can't put it here, so this is not an interior cell. But I'm pretty sure you can still put stuff here. You can still put a workbench. Weapon shop, workbench, research. Power switch. So you can't put stuff here, so let's see. There should be another place we could put stuff. I'm just gonna show you. Hold on. Surprisingly it doesn't do that, but it's okay. Let's just go to another location, see if we can just do it. Let's just go to that outpost, um, to, uh, the civilian outpost, because it should be able to let us do it. Oh, not this one. Uh, let's see. Oh, right here, this one. Let's go over here and see if I can do it. Because it should be able to allow you to do it. I'm surprised that that one doesn't do it. Let's see if we can go in here. Alright. My partner thinks spacers will want to rob this place. Ah, I'd like Let's to see. see. I'm gonna put it against this wall right here. Unable to deploy here, not an interior cell. Alright. So it's not an interior cell. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to do it in a different way. Because I think I... I should have it on my ship. Let me see. I think I should be able to have it on my ship. Because I know the bot does work. It does do it. Let me check in here. Right. Then I'm probably gonna have to go to Genesis, I think. I have to go there. Let's see if we can go to New Atlantis. I do apologize. I did not I did not know it's not going to work. It should be able to work. Because um Because I did it in my other playthrough and I it works just fine. Hey. Been looking for you. Yeah, but I haven't been looking for you either. You're gonna go up here.
That's why I'm always gonna have two mods because if the first mod doesn't work, then I know the second mod will work without a problem because it does a different way. <laughs> Let me just try this real quick. Gotta get through this intro, blah 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 stuff. But should I go to work? Because there's another thing we gotta find. Captain, everyone. We appear to have a visitor. Blah blah blah. Welcome to Constellate. Would you care? Yeah, yeah. I'll answer it. Vasco. All statements. Ugh. Walter. And if we hadn't. But that didn't happen. Thank you. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. This Interesting. Okay, I go up here. Go through here. Because usually it'd be the player home stuff. Be right. Ah, this one right here. So you see right here? The other mod does the same thing. It's the uh, ring of build and ring of decorations. There we go. That's why I always have two options, just to make sure that one of these does work. Okay, so now we can... Add this new one to the two we already have. The yep. artifact. There you go. If you can place it on the table here. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Put it on the table and I'm out. Alright. Now, let's see if we can go back to where we was before. Now we should be back. All right. So now let's try. And hey, you see, look. Now our ship is right there. Sometimes it could be finicky. Sometimes it may not show up over there. So just letting you know. Don't think like, oh yeah, if I put that there, my ship is going to be there all the time. I'm not sure. Sometimes it'd be a little finicky. In some planets or even in some outposts, it could be finicky. It could go back to the original area or your original whatever. That's why I always make sure to put this fast traveling thing right next to the door. Just in case if my ship is like far away, I can still come here and, you know, do what I need to do. But you see, like, that's the problem right there where we have like trees and other stuff like this might be popping up. That's why it's kind of best to not do fast traveling here because it does that all the time yep yeah see trees just started popping out of nowhere that's what happens when you fast travel and I think I don't think I'm using the mod for it because I got rid of it it could be another mod install as well. Just gonna double check myself. See, I might put it in by mistake, but I don't think so. That's combat stuff. That's the P last. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nope. There's no mod in here that makes it more denser or whatever. That's just for combat and stuff. But anyway, let me go show you. So regardless. That's why I don't put the launch pad near it. Alright. So now, let's see, we go in our inventory, we got in our outfits, which we got this and this. Now it should be under these right here, so we could just put this, or this one right here, we could put this one right here. Let's see, for this one we can do the ring of decorations. So right here, it's going to pop up this. We can go to build mode, and we can start putting stuff down now. So if that mod doesn't work, this mod also, this mod do work. So just letting you know. I just put both of them in there, just so I can be sure. Because sometimes it can work, sometimes it doesn't. So if, you, if it doesn't work, you can use the other mod to make it work. And the location, like again, is in the lodge, where the... Um, where your first um, room that you see where the player room has the free room and you know got that unlimited safe thing if you go there then you can um, whatever right so we can put this down right we can put down mission boards if we want to we can put down chairs right we can do like this I'm just giving you an example like stuff that you, you can do you know what I'm saying so like if I want another chair right here, I could do that, right? If I want a bed, I could put the bed over here if I want. I could put the bed in here. Right? You know, if I get rid of that, I could put the bed right there. Which that's what I'm about to do. So let's see if we can just get rid of this bed, uh, get rid of the ladder. So like again. All right. So what I'm gonna do And I think you could also move it to I'm gonna see him. I'll get rid of this letter first. Get that pointer over it. I don't know if that's gonna be right. Before I do anything, let me make sure I save it. And then now we're gonna disable. Alright, there we go. Now we can go to build mode. I can put a bed right there if I want, right? I can do this. Sleep. So yeah, there's things you can do with this, you know? You can build stuff. Let me see one other thing. I think you can move this. I'm not. I'm pretty sure you can. There's all this stuff. Now let's go put the uh, whatever the decoration or creations. Yeah. 
it's the same thing as uh, decoration, but you just have more options. It's pretty much you can do like hallway stuff like that. All the normal stuff like you do on the outpost. Should able to delete it too. So I gotta put this disable. Now we can we wanna bring it back again. So we can't bring it back again. Because we disable it. So we're going to put it enable. Alright, so you can't move it. This is why it's important to like, kind of like, you know, reload and so then that way, if you don't like the location that you like it, or you don't like it where it put it, put it at, then you can just move it to somewhere else. Gotta put it in the landing area. I just wanna see if like the trees is gonna come back or something like that. And then I'm going to fast travel to my home base. Probably just delete the trees if anything. I might can just do that. Let me see if I can try to do that. But you get what I mean. It's like there's certain things like you can do, or you can't do. So if you're gonna, um, whatever, then I suggest don't put the landing pad near it because then it'll just be a whole bunch of trees just grown right in front of it. Like again, I don't know how this got here, but it got here. Sometimes that does happen. But. Let's say, for example, if you want to, like, move on and you don't want to build a base here, you want to build somewhere else. All you got to do is just, like, 
you know, s click here like you normally do. And then uh, we're going to remove outposts. We're going to hold on Y. Yes. And if you do going to remove the outposts, you're going to have to redo all those steps again. Just letting you know. So even if I put the build here, right? See, it works, but it's, it only works because of this right here. We're, like, I have to go on the outside to bring in that official one here. This one right here that I'm doing, this fake one, doesn't really work well and is useless. So even if you did have this stuff and you could think you could build stuff with it, it it's not going to be functional. So don't even try to using it. This doesn't even work. So I have to go out there and run back here and then basically do all that stuff again to put my actual outpost. But I'm just deleting it. And I'm just saying, for example, if I wanted to get rid of it, move it somewhere else, I could do that too. So I could say, okay, I don't want this outpost here. I'm going to disable it. So, let me highlight it and then I'm going to put disable don't freak out you don't have to enable it all you have to do is just copy and paste the um, the console command that we already have on here so if you already have this all you have to do is just copy and paste it back in here and this will pop up again so there's that I'm just moving. So, so there it is. So I just starting to move. I said I don't want to be here no more. I can move, go somewhere else. So if I wanted to. But yeah. So be very careful because, like again, trees and all this stuff could pop up and generate again. So it can be very finicky at times. Sometimes it might pop up. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just letting you know. But. There should be a way to disable the trees and stuff like that if it is in your way. It should not be in your way. I don't know. I'm gonna try this for a minute. Hold on. Make sure you always save it too before you try anything. Just in case if something goes wrong. I just want to see something if it's going to do anything, but. We don't know if you don't try. All right. There we go. Okay, so yeah, so you could delete the tree. So, yes, yeah, so be very careful when you're doing it. So, you know, because you don't want to accidentally delete something by mistake. So just be very, very careful when you do delete the trees. So there's that. See, if you don't be careful, you delete some. You delete a part of this. So there is a way to delete it, but just be very careful. So there's that. Mm. All right. But yeah, hopefully that does help you out. Um, with the whole decoration and stuff like that. Make sure you save it. And put it in a location that you feel happy to put it at. And then you can start building your stuff at. You know. So just letting you know. Um, maybe I'll just show you one little quick example. One more. Just let's say we can go to this outpost. Whatever. Nope. I probably clicked the wrong outpost. It was not this one. It was this one. Let's go to this outpost, like where it has civilians and stuff. So you could put either or it could be the decoration or the other one. Uh, I'm going to put. I'm going to put the building ring. I'm going to just I'm going to do that one. It makes it so much easier. So I'm going to put that on here. And this is permanent because is ain't gonna get rid of it, so I'm just letting you know. 
That's why I'm gonna put it. So when I wear it, it's going to do whatever it needs to do. So I'm gonna put it somewhere over here. I'm gonna put it up closer to this wall. I like it in this spot. Right? Boom. And then see, it just move it out the way. So then it kind of blends in and stuff like that. See? Now I can... Now I can just, like, build stuff wherever I want to. So if you don't want to claim this as an outpost... Like, let's say I don't want this as an outpost, but I just want to build here and do stuff. You can do that. I, you can still fast travel here. You just can't bring the ship here. I don't think you could bring the ship. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to just give it a try because I don't even know if it's going to work or not. But we're just going to put it out here, for example. Because I don't think it's going to do anything because you definitely need to put an outpost to have the ship to fast travel. I'm just going to fast travel in the same location. Nope. The ship won't arrive, so you definitely have to make a whole outpost over here. So if you do a whole outpost, fast travel to the outpost, your ship will come when, the, when you build a... Um, a landing pad out there but anything else like you can say oh I don't care about that I just I could just fast travel here and live my life you can do that so I'm gonna just toggle this uh, delete this but you can see we can build like a house we could build another thing we could build buildings on top of here like again, we can we can do a bunch of stuff. Like we can just build a home up here if we want, and we can set a fast travel location up here. That's cool. So we can we can do stuff. So we if you don't want to do the whole um, have an outpost, I think just having an outpost is just basically if you want to bring the ship along when you put the thing. But if you don't care about that and you just want to just like I could just fast travel to the outpost and just do whatever I want. You can do that. So, like, now I can just, you know, like, like again, I could build here. I could build, like, a home right here if I want. So, let's say I want to build, like, one of those glass hubs right here. So, I could do that. Right. So, let me see. We're going to build it right about here. Too tall, that's fine. And let's see, I want to put um, put a doorway and stuff. There we go. Oh. Okay, exit. See, we can put turrets up here if we want. We can basically build a whole damn little city outpost if we want up here. We can just make a whole little city, little minecarts. And if you want, you can even, there's other mod creations that you can expand it and put more decorations. Like, like having more, like, oh, look, you want a little decoration here? You want a little here? It's pretty cool, you know? See, I just built a little home on top of the outpost. Right up here. Bam. But here's the deal. You have to know where the planet is. So, again, if you... If, let's say, for example... Like, on the console side... Like, oh, I want to build a, a home up here. Right? But I can't do it. Like, I can't put a fat... Like, an outpost. Right? See what you can do. See what you can do is like again, like let's say you go all the way towards your nearest whatever.
So we know is like all the way out here, and we just built something right up here. So we can just put, but I'm just saying for consoles, like we can literally just put. See, we can't put it. But I'm just saying, if you want, we can just put an outpost somewhere else. Because it should be able to do it. See, we can put an outpost just not near here. But if we want, we can just build, put an outpost over here, put the landing pad wherever it is and then wherever that direction is like oh yeah that's that's where i built my little whatever whatever and you just have to walk over there so you could do something like that so like let's say if i put it over here right and let's say we put a small pad over here just saying for example See, we can't put it over here, but we could put it nearby the location. So we kind of know, like, oh, it's only just a little walk away. So we probably put it like this, right? Put it as close as we can, but not super close. But we're going to put it right here, right? So we build it right here. Boom. That's good. And now we can maybe move this can't move it over here right we could just move it we could just move it right over here because we can't move it in front of it so we just move it right over here I'll just put it over here because it makes it easier. So we'll put it right there. Right. So we put it right there. Right. So now, let's just put this as an example. If we fast travel over here, right? And then let's say, okay, we want to you know, whatever, fast travel back over there with our ship. So we're going to do that. So we're going to do right here. And Jamie says, I'll post one. We're going to fast travel. Oh. Our ship should be over here, but if the ship doesn't show up, it should show up. I don't understand. Let me see. I'm gonna try doing this. I'm just gonna go out of a location and then come back into the location. Let's just try it like that. So there's that location. So let's go back to our map. Back out. And we'll go right here. Fast travel back to the location. There we go. See, now it works. So now we got our ship right here, right? Got our ship. Got our little thing right here. And basically the location to the outpost is like literally right up ahead. So now we can just, all we have to do is just walk over there. Or we can fast travel to the location. And then, you know, we can, whatever we need to do.
see, so now, there it is. So now we got our build right up there. We still got our building. Bam. Even though we don't see it in our map, our buildings and everything else that we did, that we saved, is still here. So all of our stuff is still here, which is good. So now everything is still here. We can do whatever we need to do. Like again, we can put the beds in here, put this in here. We can still keep building in here if we want. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, our ship is all the way over there. It might be a little bit of a walk, but hey, I'll take that then, you know, if you can't put it inside of the base, but at least you could just like go from a walk from over there. That's just for console people. For if you if you still want to use this mod, you can still use the mod and you can still have your thing all the way out there and just make a path or make a walkway and then you can just walk over here and you can see the building is still there, everything else is still there, your items is gonna still be there. And we still got the um, the thing right over here. So we still got the beacon for the outpost. So we can still do stuff if we want. Like again, we can put the crew station here. Right. We can put turrets here if we want. We can put buildings, chairs. And I don't think it's limited to here. I think you could also go inside and you could still continue. So. You can still put stuff in here if you want. So yeah, you could you could put this down here. You could put the cooking thing. You could put turrets inside if you want. You could put chairs in here. See, so like, oh, I want to put a little extra chair over here. I think you know to add that little bit of a spice. I can do that. So I could put this right over here. Cabinets, refrigerator. We'll put a weapon rack if we want. It's like if we can find a good spot for it, right? We we'll put it right here. Yeah. If they don't even have mission boards, you can put mission boards in here, so... But they already have mission boards. See? They got already have it in here. Which is cool. So, that's pretty much the things that you can do with this. So, if you know how to make it work, you know, and, you know, take your time and do it, you, you can really, like, make an outpost your own and have some really cool stuff um, in it. So that's all I have for today. So hopefully this will help you out and hopefully this is a more in-depth and, and hopefully it will answer all of your questions and stuff like that and so on and so forth. So there's that. Again, I don't know what's up with that other mod. Um, I'll have to figure that out. I might do a follow-up to it um, to let you know. But that other mod should able to work with the pill and stuff, but it seems like it doesn't work. Maybe it's for like more like dungeon locations inside of like close quarter buildings like the Mantis Layer. That might be something you can do. Because I know in my other playthrough it works for that, but not in this one. I'm not sure why, but I don't think it's broken. I think it's just mostly for like closed interior that counts as whatever. So I think it's the Mantis Layer. If you want to use the pill decoration for that, make sure when you use it, don't spit, you know, have space between there. Make sure you go close to the wall 
and place it where you like it and make sure you you know save it before you start doing anything and if you don't like it just reload it and then put it in a location that you know like i like this location it blends in it's not going to stick out somewhere then you can start building or whatever so i'm just letting you know and uh yes all of this will be in the description below so you can do that just make sure before you start doing anything play around with it first make sure you grab all of the mob materials and everything else and then just play around with it for like one area two three areas and take your time and again make sure you save it first like at least do two saves and then do the third save and that third save that last one use that as your thing that if you want to add this you want to you know delete you know disable stuff enable stuff and if you want to put your outposts and stuff like that or your build or whatever or whatever creation mod that you want to use just make sure you save it and save it constantly and if you don't like something make sure you reload it again okay don't and also as a warning before i leave do not um what should I call it for settings right and I think it's gameplay options do not have these on or this one on the leave this one on don't have these on and keep this one disabled okay just in case if like something really messed up then you can just say you can load it back to that travel or you can load or uh, reload it towards that manual save so make sure you constantly manual save it every single time so if you don't like something you can go back to it and then you can say okay i can start from here and change something or build something else so make sure you do that and then when you're finally done then you can say this is my final save i like where everything is at i like the location i like all the stuff and the materials that i'm at that's where you're gonna be and then it's gonna be all set so there's that so just letting you guys know um, as a heads up. So that's pretty much all of what I got for today. Hopefully this video does help you guys. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave a like. Comments down below. If any issues and stuff like that arise, let me know in the comment section as well. So I can take a look at it. Maybe I could try to help you out as best as I could. Um, but again, until next time, I'll see you guys on the next Gaming Guy video. Peace.